Hello again, this is Gabby with Endress Analytics, and this week I am doing a Google Analytics tutorial, and I am going to talk about um, creating custom reports. So for example, and right now I'm looking at um, the default um, view of the All Pages report. So you can see here it's under Behavior, Site Content, All Pages, and um, you kind of have your, your, um, your main dimension over here, your, your page. And then um, it comes with sort of the out of the box reports, your page views, unique page views, um, average time on page, entrances, bounce rate, exit, page value. Now for me, um, I don't find all of those metrics useful. Uh, page value, for example, I don't assign a page value. Um, to me, it just, uh, my site is more of a uh, lead generation and not e-commerce. So I really don't have um, a value that I, that I assign specific pages and things. And um, I don't um, always find exit um, information that useful. Um, if I want to find it, obviously it's always on this page by default. But let's say there are other metrics I would be more interested in. Well, uh, the best way for, in my opinion, to do that would be to go into customization and create a custom report. And um, I can have a blank one here that I didn't use, but let's just go ahead and click on new custom report. And here's where you can build uh, build your reports and everything. So let's just say, I'm just gonna say um, my favorite uh, page metrics. Just for example, you can call it whatever you want. Um, you can, it can actually add a number of tabs and things um, to report content uh, with the caveat that if you're going to do number different tabs and things, if you apply any filter, that filter applies across all the tabs. So keep that in mind. Um, the tabs should be related um, to each other and, and similar in terms of, of what you're looking at, obviously with different metrics and dimensions, but perhaps the same filter. All right, so I'm not even going to bother naming any of this kind of stuff. I'm just going to start adding things. So first of all, the dimension I want um, is going to be um, page. So you have uh, different pages. So I'm going to do the same thing as I had before was page. And you can also drill down if you want to. So if you wanted like page title, uh, so you can do a drill down um, on dimensions and that kind of thing as well. Um, and then you can add your metrics. So for example, obviously I still want page views, um, which is, you know, out of the box. Uh, but let's say I don't want the new um, entrance exits, etc. Let's say I'm interested in how many um, sessions are related to um, that particular page. Now sessions um, can be problematic. It's not always recommended to use sessions when looking at specific pages, but I do sometimes find it um, interesting information and sometimes it can um, allow me to have a, a, a view of the fact that there's something wrong um, with my uh, with my tracking and things. So um, I do often like looking at sessions. And just for those of you who are not in the know, sessions is what used to be called visits. Um, so they've renamed visits and then also visitors are now called users. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add users. Um, so this is like basically unique visitors. Um, and then I'm going to do new users as well. So what percentage of new users um, have come to look at that particular page? Um, and I think that's that's basically it. I mean, you can see here under the metric, you can see um, everything that's available, etc. And these things here are filtered based upon um, what's available, like what you've chosen before and what other um, metric happens to be compatible with. There's certain metrics that if you if you look at a particular metric or a particular dimension um, that a, like there's certain metrics that don't work with certain dimensions within Google Analytics. And so if you choose a particular dimension that is not compatible with a particular metric, um, it's just not gonna show up in there for you. And you can either type it and search like I did, um, or you can just kind of scroll through and that kind of thing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I am going to add a filter just so we can take a look at and see how that looks. And so I'm gonna add a filter for page. So for the dimension, the filters are always for the dimensions. So we'll go to page and you can do um, either exact or regular expressions. 
Uh, regular expressions can be tricky if you're not familiar with them. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. And let's say I want to filter and I only want to find all of the articles that I wrote back in um, 2011, for example. So uh, we can do this. So we can start the string. And I am by no means an expert at regular expression, so just keep bear bear that in mind. And then um, I'm gonna do 2011, and then I'm just basically gonna do dot star. Um, and don't, I, I'm not gonna try and explain um, how to do regular expression. Just Google um, regular expression um, cheat sheet. Um, that's what I do uh, when I need to find things, but I, I use this particular convention uh, most often where this is the beginning of the string um, This indicates it's the beginning of the string and then I just basically want Whatever you know anything that follows this kind of string is what I want I just don't want 2011 to not be the beginning of the string I want everything for 2011 to be the beginning of the string if that makes any sense Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and save Okay, and then this is just the last 30 days. Let me expand out the um, the date range a little bit here. Let me apply that. Okay, just so we have a little bit more data to look at. So you can see that this is now my custom report, and it's only showing um, articles from 2011, and it's showing the page views, the sessions, the users, and the new users. Um, and so that's basically how you build a custom report. Um, if there's any questions or if there's any particular scenarios or other types of things that you would be interested in seeing me explain or show how to do uh, within custom reports or anything else in Google Analytics, um, please leave a comment below. And um, if you uh, find these videos useful, please um, like, share, subscribe. Um, I definitely uh, appreciate all the engagement that I can get from my viewers. And until next week, take care. Bye-bye.